Well, Roadshow Home Video is one of our favourite um, distributors in Australia and New Zealand in the uh, mid 1980s. They're still distributing now as Village Roadshow, but I um, thought I'd show you a few of my early horror videos on the label. Um, this is not all of them, obviously. I've got heaps more than that, but I just thought I'd start off small and show you a few other videos later. This is the first big box roadshow I ever bought well over 10 years ago now, and lo and behold, it's a horror film. British sci-fi horror film in Seminoid, pretty average cover there. On the back of these, they never had any um, pictures of the film itself. They just promoted their other titles. Bit of shameless promotion there, isn't it? So I've got I've got both of those films, which I'll show you another day. But um, yeah, I thought I'd start off with the very first one I ever bought years ago in Ballarat, cash converters, in fact. Inside the cover there, they sometimes had promotional material. So Summer Lovers was promoted there. Um, and where did that come from? Arch Video in Ballarat. On the side of the cassette, sometimes they had a date stamp on it. I don't know if you can see that, but it says 5583, so that's the uh, manufacture date, 5th of May 1983. So there you go. First one ever bought. I think this is possibly the first roadshow ever released, if not one of the first, is Scanners. Um, a surefire way of determining if you have an early roadshow is whether or not this preview thing was actually there. Um, as time went on, they moved it all around the place. So like on this one, which is released in 83, you've got the preview thing there. But in the early ones, they were always there, always. Um, so I managed to pick this one up. Uh, it's not an ex-rental, it's practically new. Uh, second hand, of course, but um, in the original opaque cover, in superb condition, no grubby fingerprints or any shit like that. And on the side there, you've got a date 16482. That's the 16th of April 82. We put day, month, and year in this part of the world. Speaking of scanners, I wanted to show you something. I happen to have a copy of the original Aussie Day Bill. There it is there. Picked that up off eBay years ago. Years ago. Very cheaply, too. It was like five bucks or something. You wouldn't pay five dollars for it now because they're quite collectible. I keep that in storage, which is why I'm careful. I don't want to rip it, do I? <laughs> but, yeah, lucky to have a copy of that. The Never Dead, known as Phantasm Overseas, but it had to be retitled in this country. Um, and the reason for that is because of this film here, which is um, Phantasm and Phantasm Comes Again. That's just the DVD. It's a, I suppose you could say, a 1970s Aussie sexploitation film. Softcore. Well, there's a couple of hardcore moments in it, but very, very brief. Um, but yeah, that was released by Umbrella Entertainment. That's why they had to retitle it. They never did, so as to avoid confusion. And there you go. On the back there, just promoting Scanners and King of the Mountain. Again, with this one, I'm really lucky to have a copy of it practically in brand new condition. Opaque cover there, no grotty finger marks or any shit. And the date stamp there says what 262, which is the 2nd of June 1982. Again, day, month, and year that we use here. Deadly blessing. Can't show the trailer for this one because I think it's a copyright issue, as much of Wes Craven stuff is. I think showing you the cover should be fine though. Um, yeah, there you go. Copy the original Roadshow. Got that one, got Force of One, I'll show you another day. Um, is there any promo on this? Yeah, there is. Young Doctors in Love. So, Dead and Buried. Don't have the original clamshell of that one, that's just a hard case there. Replacement, um, probably got smashed up or whatever. So, yeah, that's the original VHS release there. And on the back, ah, look at that, Deadly Blessing and Scanners. More shameless self-promotion. I happen to have a copy of the uh, Blue Underground limited edition there with that beautiful cover. I bought this at the DVD collection here in Melbourne. It's a store called the DVD collection. That's my number there. Not only that, I've got the Day Bill. Aussie Day Bill way back when. Got this off eBay. Bought it about the same time as the Scanners one. Yeah. K 
keep that in storage so it doesn't get all sort of eaten by moths or faded or any shit like that. Death ship is another early one. Again, you've got that preview thing down there. It's an M-rated title. Um, Deadly Blessing was an M-rated title as well. I forgot to point that out, but on the back there you've got a couple of other titles promoted. M is equivalent to a PG-13 in the United States, or maybe a 14A in Canada, except that any age can get in. Um, what's the equivalent in the UK? Maybe 12A? I don't know. Um, Blood Beach, very beat up cover there, very, very faded badly, um, but it's the only one I could find in a hurry. <laughs> That's a very nasty Aussie film. I've got a copy of that, I'll show it to you another day. Um, but yeah, not on DVD, I don't think so, anyway, so i um, got a copy of it anyway to show you. Another early one, there's American Werewolf in London, again, preview thing is down there. Yet another M-rated title. John Landis, great film. I still get entertained by this one. Endless Love, I've got a copy of that. I'll show you another day. Oh, I've got the original DVD from Universal. That's the um, 21st anniversary special edition. Last but not least, When a Stranger Calls, that's the opaque cover. Subject to a remake in 2006. I haven't seen the remake, so I can't comment on it. Um, I don't mind this film, and it's not the most terrifying film you'll ever see now, I don't think, but still, it's not bad. And ah, Never Dead Again. Atlantic City, USA is that one there. Had um, two covers, that's one of them. And, yeah, there was a different cover for that as well. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, hope you enjoyed watching and um, yeah, keep watching for further updates.